The Game of Life, How to Win It Written by Justice O. Malcolm Published by Audiobooks Office Introduction The Game of Life book serves as your personal playbook for navigating the complexities and challenges of life with grace, strategy, and a winning mindset. This book isn't about competing against others, but about mastering the art of living fully, making choices that lead to genuine happiness, and achieving your highest potential. Written with warmth, wisdom, and a deep understanding of life's intricacies, it guides you through the essential steps to take control of your life's direction and emerge victorious in your personal pursuits. Through a blend of engaging narratives, psychological insights, and actionable advice, the Game of Life breaks down the components of a well-lived life into manageable and understandable sections. Each chapter focuses on a different facet of life, such as relationships, work, personal development, or health, and provides straightforward, actionable techniques for success. The book empowers you to identify your goals, understand your obstacles, and harness your strengths in ways that propel you forward. The author encourages you to redefine what winning means, shifting the focus from external measures of success to internal fulfillment and resilience. You'll learn how to play to your unique strengths, adapt to changes, and overcome setbacks with a positive and proactive attitude. The game of life emphasizes the power of mindset, the importance of setting clear intentions, and the value of mindfulness and gratitude in everyday life. Moreover, this book is a reminder that you're not playing the game of life alone. It highlights the importance of building supportive relationships, fostering community, and lifting others as you climb. You'll discover how collaboration, empathy, and generosity can amplify your success and lead to more meaningful victories. The Game of Life book is for anyone looking for a comprehensive guide to living a life marked by personal achievement, happiness, and contribution. Whether you're just starting out on your journey or looking to recalibrate your path, this book offers the insights, encouragement, and practical steps you need to play the game of life and win it on your terms. Let this book be your coach, cheering you on as you make your way through the thrilling, rewarding journey of life. You're about to start on a journey, an in-depth exploration of a book that serves as a roadmap to winning at the game of life. It's an all-encompassing guide, offering insight into the principles and strategies necessary for success. You'll learn about setting clear goals, developing a winning mindset, and much more. But don't you wonder, what's the secret to maintaining motivation or enhancing physical well-being? How can you harness the power of habits to achieve personal growth? Stick around, as we're about to dig deeper into this intriguing topic. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 75% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and liking the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Chapter 1 Understanding the Game of Life To truly triumph in the game of life, you first need to understand its rules, its rewards, and the strategies that can steer you towards success. This game isn't something you play casually, it's your life we're talking about. You can't afford to sit on the sidelines or let others dictate your moves. The beauty of it's that you're in control, you're the player, and the decisions you make shape your journey. Understanding the rules is the first step. Life doesn't come with a user manual, but it has unspoken rules. Respect, integrity, accountability, and perseverance are some of them. These principles guide your actions and inform your decisions. They're your moral compass, guiding you when the path becomes unclear. Next, you need to recognize the rewards. Success in life isn't just about money or status. It's about personal growth, happiness, and fulfillment. It's about the relationships you build, the knowledge you acquire, and the difference you make. Remember, rewards in the game of life aren't always tangible, but they're always meaningful. Lastly, arm yourself with winning strategies. To win doesn't mean to defeat others, 
but to achieve your personal goals. Set clear, achievable objectives. Stay focused and determined, no matter the obstacles you encounter. And most importantly, never stop learning. The game of life is a journey of self-discovery and growth. To win, you need to understand its intricacies and embrace its challenges. So gear up, keep playing, and remember the game's not over until you say it is. Chapter 2 The Importance of Self-Awareness In this next stage of your journey, understanding the power of self-awareness becomes pivotal. It's your secret weapon in winning the game of life. Self-awareness is like a mirror, reflecting your thoughts, emotions, and actions. It enables you to see yourself as you truly are, not as you imagine or wish to be. It's about accepting your strengths and acknowledging your weaknesses. It's about understanding your motivations, your desires, and your fears. Without self-awareness, you're like a ship sailing aimlessly in the ocean, at the mercy of the wind and waves. But with self-awareness, you become the captain of your ship. You can navigate through the storms, steer clear of the rocks, and reach your desired destination. Self-awareness isn't a destination, but a journey. It's not something you attain once and for all, but a continuous process of self-discovery and self-improvement. It requires honesty, courage, and persistence. It requires you to question your beliefs, to challenge your assumptions, and to confront your fears. It's not always comfortable, but it's always rewarding. Chapter 3. Developing a Winning Mindset Cultivating a winning mindset is your next key move in mastering the game of life. This isn't about being the best. It's about being your best. It's about pushing past your limitations, not settling for less, and believing in your capacity to achieve. Let's consider this success starts from within. It's about how you perceive yourself and the world around you. Your mindset governs your actions and reactions. It's what separates the winners from the losers. It's not about where you are. It's about where you're headed. Start by embracing positivity. You've got to believe in the good, expect the best, and have faith that everything will work out in your favor. You can't let negativity cloud your vision. You've got to keep your eyes on the prize, not on the obstacles. Next, you should understand that failures aren't the end. They're stepping stones. Remember, the most successful people aren't those who never fail, but those who never quit. Embrace your failures, learn from them, and keep moving forward. Finally, keep learning. The world evolves, and so should you. Never stop seeking knowledge, never stop growing. Stay curious, stay enthusiastic. The more you learn, the more you realize how much more there's to learn. Developing a winning mindset isn't an overnight process. It takes time, patience, and constant effort. But remember, it's worth it. Because once you've won in your mind, you've already won in life. Keep going, keep growing, and keep winning. Chapter 4 Setting Life Goals Having a vital mindset is just half the battle next. You need to set clear achievable life goals that will guide your journey to success. Remember, goals are like a compass. They show the direction and the distance. Without them, you're merely sailing on an ocean with no destination in sight. So how do you set these goals? Begin by identifying what you truly want. It's your life, after all. Don't be swayed by societal pressures or others' expectations. Your goals should inspire you, make you jump out of bed each morning with a burning desire to achieve them. Once you've determined what you want, the next step is to break these goals down into manageable steps. Don't get overwhelmed by the scale of your aspirations. Instead, think of it as a journey, each step bringing you closer to your ultimate destination. Next, write your goals down. It sounds simple, but it's an important step. When you write your goals down, they become more real and tangible. You're not just dreaming anymore, you're planning. Lastly, always set a deadline for your goals. A time-sensitive goals instill a sense of urgency and encourage you to act. In setting your life goals, remember that it's not about perfection but progress. Don't be disheartened if things don't go as planned. 
Instead, see each setback as an opportunity to learn and grow. Here's the key. Set your goals, take action, adjust as necessary, and never, ever give up. You're in the game of life to win, so play it with purpose and determination. Chapter 5 The Power of Positive Thinking Now let's explore the power of positive thinking, a force that can greatly enhance your chances of winning this game of life. You've set your goals, and that's fantastic. However, you're going to face obstacles and challenges along the way. That's where positive thinking comes in. It's not just a cliche, it's a tool you can use to build resilience, foster creativity, and even boost your health. Think of your mind as a garden. If you plant seeds of positivity, you'll grow a lush, vibrant landscape. But if you allow the weeds of negativity to take root, they'll choke out your hopes and dreams. That's why it's so important to cultivate an optimistic outlook. Every time you encounter a setback, view it as an opportunity for growth rather than a signal of defeat. Keep in mind, positive thinking doesn't mean ignoring life's problems. It means approaching them with a productive, positive, and proactive mindset. You're not denying the difficulties, you're simply choosing to approach them in a hopeful, constructive manner. Chapter 6 Implementing Effective Strategies Often, it's the effective strategies you implement that can greatly elevate your game, turning life's challenges into stepping stones towards success. The right strategy is like a roadmap, guiding you towards your goals. Without one, you're simply wandering aimlessly. It is not about having a single strategy that you adhere to rigidly, but rather about taking a flexible approach that allows for adaptation and evolution. Start by setting clear, achievable goals. Know what you want and keep your eyes on the prize. Then, reduce your ambitions down into smaller, more doable activities. This makes the journey seem less overwhelming, and each small victory will fuel your motivation to keep going. Next, prioritize. Not all tasks are created equal. Some are critical for your success, others less so. Learn to distinguish between the two and focus your efforts where they matter most. This will save you time and energy. Don't be afraid to delegate. You can't do everything yourself. Assign tasks to others when possible. This frees up your time to concentrate on what you do best. Chapter 7 Navigating Life's Challenges Life's path is strewn with challenges, but remember, it's not about avoiding them. It's about learning to navigate through them with courage, resilience, and wisdom. Think of these challenges as stepping stones, not roadblocks. They're there to shape and strengthen you, not to deter you. Each challenge you encounter is a test of your tenacity, your patience, your endurance, and your will to persevere. Let's break it down. First, acknowledge the challenge. Don't shy away from it. It's there, it's real and it's in front of you. Take a good, hard look at it. Understand its nature and what it demands from you. This step will empower you by taking the mystery and fear out of the equation. Next, equip yourself. Gather your resources, both internal and external. Your internal resources are your mental, emotional, and spiritual strengths. Your external resources are the people and tools that can offer support and guidance. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Now, confront the challenge. This is where your courage comes in. You've acknowledged the challenge, you've equipped yourself, and now it's time to face it head on. Stay focused, stay determined, and most importantly, stay resilient. It won't be easy, but it'll be worth it. Chapter 8 Embracing Personal Growth Having navigated through life's challenges, you're not the same person you were before this is the beauty of personal growth, a journey that shapes you, enriches you, and ultimately leads you to victory in the game of life. Consider each experience, good or bad, as an opportunity to learn and develop. You expand your horizons, amass wisdom, and cultivate a richer understanding of yourself and the world around you. But how do you truly embrace personal growth? 
it starts with recognizing that you're a work in progress. Accept that there's always room for improvement. This isn't about being hard on yourself instead, it's about acknowledging your potential and working towards it. You're capable of more than you know. Next, be open to new experiences. Seek out opportunities to learn, whether it's through books, courses, travel, or simply stepping out of your comfort zone in day-to-day -day life. Change can be intimidating, but it's also exhilarating and rewarding. Finally, embrace failure. Mistakes aren't setbacks, they're stepping stones on your path to growth. Learn from them, don't dwell on them. You can't control everything, but you can control how you respond. In the game of life, the goal isn't to be perfect, it's to be better. Personal growth is the secret weapon that propels you towards that goal. So embrace it, nurture it, and let it guide you to victory. Because in the end, the person you become is the ultimate prize. Chapter 9 Building Mental Resilience Just as a ship withstands the stormy sea, you too can build mental resilience to thrive in life's challenges. It's not about avoiding adversity, but about embracing it, learning from it, and coming out stronger. Remember, it's your response to adversity, not the adversity itself, that determines your mental strength. You're probably wondering, how do I build mental resilience well? It starts with understanding that resilience isn't a trait you're born with. It's a skill you develop. So let's roll up our sleeves and get started. First, cultivate positivity. Life's going to throw punches. It's up to you whether you let it knock you down or use it as a stepping stone. When things go south, find the silver lining. It's there, believe me. A positive mindset isn't just about happy thoughts. It's about perspective. Next, practice patience. Mental resilience, like Rome, is not something that can be developed overnight. It takes time, effort, and a whole lot of patience. But trust me, it's worth it. Finally, embrace failure. Failure isn't the opposite of success, it's a part of it. Each failure teaches you a valuable lesson and serves as a stepping stone towards success. Developing mental resilience is a journey, not a destination. It's about becoming the best version of yourself, capable of weathering whatever life throws your way. So taking a deep breath, square your shoulders, and prepare to conquer the world, one obstacle at a time. Chapter 10 Cultivating Healthy Relationships While you're busy forging your mental resilience, don't forget that the people around you play a significant role in your journey as well, which is why it's so crucial to cultivate healthy relationships. These relationships can provide you with joy, support, and encouragement as you navigate life's challenges. Firstly, communication is key. Be open about your thoughts, feelings, and aspirations. When you're transparent, you'll find that others are likely to reciprocate. This mutual exchange fosters trust, which is the backbone of any healthy relationship. Secondly, remember to show appreciation. It's easy to take people for granted, but acknowledging their presence and contributions in your life can go a long way in strengthening your relationships. Next, practice acceptance. Everyone has their strengths and weaknesses. Embrace people as they are, without trying to change them. You'll find that when you accept people for who they are, they're more likely to do the same for you. In addition, make time for your loved ones. Quality time spent together is invaluable. It might be as simple as sharing a meal, going for a walk, or simply having a meaningful chat. Lastly, set boundaries. Knowing your limits and respecting those of others is crucial. A healthy relationship allows room for individual growth and doesn't stifle personal freedom. The game of life isn't just about winning independently, it's about growing together. Cultivating healthy relationships is a critical part of this journey. So, invest in your relationships because they're investments that always yield positive returns. Chapter 11 The Role of Emotional Intelligence In this intricate game of life, your emotional intelligence is your secret weapon, 
empowering you to navigate complex emotions and build stronger connections with others. It's your ally, helping you decode others' emotions, empathize, and respond effectively. Remember, it's not about outsmarting everyone else, but understanding them better. Emotional intelligence isn't just about being nice or avoiding conflict. It's about managing your emotions and those of others. When you're angry or upset, it's the voice that tells you to breathe, reassess and react in a positive way. It's the ability to read a room and adapt your behavior to make others feel comfortable. It's the wisdom to know when to listen and when to speak up. Chapter 12. Financial Management Mastery Mastering your finances is your next challenge, an essential skill that can turn your life into a winning game. It's not just about earning more but about managing what you have effectively. It's about understanding that every financial decision you make today can greatly impact your future. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Everyone starts from somewhere, and it's never too late to learn. Start by setting clear financial goals. Where do you want to be in five years, ten years? What does financial freedom mean to you? Once you have a clear vision, it's easier to create a plan that suits your needs and lifestyle. Then, learn the art of budgeting. It's not about restricting your spending, but about making smart decisions. Understand where your money goes and cut out unnecessary expenses. You'll be surprised at how much you can save by merely being more mindful of your spending habits. Investing is another essential component of financial management. Don't be intimidated by the jargons and numbers. Start small, take calculated risks, and be patient. Remember, it's not about overnight success, but about building wealth over time. Financial management is an ongoing process rather than a final goal. There will be bumps along the way, but don't be disheartened. Use these obstacles as learning opportunities. Stay committed, keep learning, and you'll soon master the art of managing your finances, turning your life into a winning game. Chapter 13 Enhancing Physical Well-Being Just as you're taking control of your finances, it's equally important to take charge of your physical well-being, which is another key to winning the game of life. If you're neglecting your health, it's like playing a game with a handicap. You won't perform at your best, and you'll be less likely to achieve your goals. So how can you boost your physical well-being? Start with regular exercise. You don't have to join a gym or run a marathon. Just find something you enjoy that gets your body moving. It could be anything as simple as walking, dancing, or gardening. Make it part of your daily routine, and you'll soon see the benefits. Next, consider your diet. Aim to eat a balance of fruits, vegetables, proteins, and whole grains. Avoid processed meals and sugary beverages as much as possible. Remember, it's not about deprivation, it's about nourishment. Give your body the fuel it needs to function at its best. Sleep is also important. Make sure you're getting enough rest each night. Try to stick to an established sleeping pattern and build a relaxing nighttime routine. This will help your body rejuvenate and prepare for the next day's challenges. Lastly, don't forget to hydrate. Drinking enough water each day is essential for your body's functions, including digestion, circulation, and maintaining body temperature. In short, enhancing your physical well-being is a crucial step in winning the game of life. It's not always easy, but it's worth the effort. Remember your body is your vehicle in this game. Treat it with respect, and it'll serve you well. Chapter 14 Balancing Work and Play with the hustle and bustle of life, striking a balance between work and play isn't just necessary, it's the secret to a fulfilling life. You might think you don't have time for play when there's so much work to be done. But remember, all work and no play isn't just dull, it's detrimental to your well-being. Start by reassessing your priorities. Work is important, but so is play. Fun and relaxation aren't frivolous, they're essential. They recharge your batteries, boost your creativity, and give you a fresh perspective. So make time for what you love. 
Maybe it's reading, gardening, or playing the guitar. Schedule it in, just like you'd a meeting or an appointment. Next, set boundaries. When you're at work, be fully present. Give it your all, but when the workday ends, let it end. Don't bring work home with you. Make your home a sanctuary for relaxation and joy. Chapter 15 The Art of Decision Making Exploring the labyrinth of life's choices, you'll find that honing your decision-making skills isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. Every day you're faced with decisions that steer your life's journey. Some are minor, like choosing what to eat for breakfast, while others can impact your life's trajectory, like choosing a career path or a life partner. The art of decision-making isn't about always making the right choice. It's about developing a process for making informed decisions that align with your values, goals, and realities. It's about understanding the consequences of your choices and being accountable for them. Start by recognizing that every decision, big or small, is an opportunity for learning. Embrace these chances, because they're your stepping stones to mastering the art of decision-making. Next, gather as much information as you can. An informed decision is always better than an ignorant guess. Research, ask questions, seek expert advice, and utilize your past experiences. Remember, knowledge is power. Then, take your time. You don't have to rush. Consider your options, weigh the advantages and cons, and envision the possible outcomes. Chapter 16 Overcoming Fear and Doubt in life's grand adventure, fear and doubt can often seem like intimidating roadblocks, but you have the power to overcome them and continue on your path to success. Fear is a natural human reaction designed to keep us safe, but it can also paralyze us and prevent us from reaching our full potential. Doubt, on the other hand, can make us question our abilities, thereby hindering our progress. To overcome fear, you must first acknowledge its presence. Recognize it, but don't let it control you. Remember, it's okay to feel scared. What's important is how you react to it. Push yourself to take that first step, regardless of how frightening it feels. Next, practice visualization. Imagine yourself successfully overcoming the situations you fear. This conditions your mind to believe in your ability to conquer fear, ultimately making it easier when you actually face it. As for doubt, combat it with self-belief and confidence. Begin by focusing on your strengths rather than your faults. Celebrate your victories, no matter how small, and learn from your failures instead of being demoralized by them. One practical way to conquer doubt is through preparation. The more prepared you are, the more confident you'll feel. Equip yourself with knowledge and skills, and you'll see your self-doubt start to diminish. Remember that overcoming fear and doubt isn't a one-time event, but a continuous process. It requires patience, courage, and resilience. But rest assured, with each fear faced and each doubt overcome, you're one step closer to winning your game of life. Chapter 17. Cultivating a Success Attitude To truly excel in your life's game, it's important to cultivate a success attitude a mindset that encourages positivity, perseverance, and a hunger for achievement. This attitude isn't about simply wanting to win, it's about believing you can win and taking the necessary steps to make it happen. Firstly, you must embrace positivity. Being positive doesn't mean ignoring the negative. Instead, it involves reframing negative thoughts to focus on potential solutions rather than problems. When faced with a challenge, remind yourself, I've got this. I can find a way. Perseverance, the second component of a success attitude, is about pushing through obstacles, not letting setbacks discourage you. It's about telling yourself, I won't quit instead of, it's too hard remember. It's the consistent effort that eventually leads to success. Lastly, you need to have a hunger for achievement. This is the drive that keeps you motivated and focused on your goals. When you are hungry for success, you are willing to go the additional mile and do everything it takes to win the game of life. 
Cultivating a success attitude requires conscious effort, but the rewards are worth it. You will feel more confident, determined, and prepared to face any obstacles that come your way. So start today and remember in the game of life, you're the player, the coach, and the referee. It's up to you to decide how you want to play and win. Chapter 18 Learning from Failures Even with the best success attitude, you're bound to encounter failures yet. It's these very setbacks that can be your greatest teachers. It's natural to feel disappointed, but don't let failures deter you. Instead, take a step back, assess the situation, and learn from it. Embrace your failures as valuable experiences, not as reflections of your worth. You're not defined by your failures, but by how you respond to them. Remember, every time you fail, you come one step closer to succeeding. You learn what doesn't work, which leads you closer to figuring out what does. Turn your failures into opportunities. Use them as stepping stones on your path to success. Learn to analyze your mistakes. Ask yourself what went wrong. What could I have done differently? How can I avoid making the same mistake again? Seek the answers to these questions, and you'll discover a wealth of knowledge hidden within your failures. Don't wallow in self-pity or let fear of failure hold you back. Instead, arm yourself with the lessons learned and move forward. You'll find that with each failure you grow stronger, wiser, and more resilient. You become more equipped to face the challenges that lie ahead. Chapter 19 Maintaining Motivation and Drive Staying on the path to success requires maintaining a high level of motivation and drive no matter the obstacles you encounter. This isn't always easy. Sometimes, you might feel like you're stuck in a rut, your energy levels are low, and you're questioning why you're doing what you're doing. But remember, it's your responsibility to keep your motivation and drive alive. Start by setting clear, achievable goals. Having a target gives your efforts a direction. It's like a map guiding you towards your desired outcome. Your goals should challenge you, but they shouldn't be so significant that they seem impossible to reach. Break them down into smaller tasks so that each accomplishment fuels your motivation to push forward. Next, surround yourself with positivity. Negative influences can drain your motivation, so it's essential to keep your environment and mindset positive. Find inspiration in successful people, engage with uplifting content, and foster supportive relationships. These elements can boost your drive when you need it the most. Don't forget to reward yourself along the way. Celebrating small victories is a great way to keep your motivation high. Whether it's a break, a treat, or simply acknowledging your progress, rewards can reignite your drive and get you excited about the journey ahead. Lastly, remember why you started. Reconnect with your initial passion and purpose. This is your ultimate fuel. It's what got you started, and it's what'll keep you going. So whenever you feel your motivation waning, think back to why you commenced on this journey in the first place. Remember, in the game of life, maintaining your motivation and drive is key to winning. Chapter 20. The Importance of Persistence. While fueling your journey with motivation and drive is key, it's your persistence that truly paves the way to victory in life's game. Remember, life isn't a sprint, but a marathon. It's not about how quickly you can reach your goals, but how steadfast you're in your pursuit of them. Consider the time you learned to ride a bike. You didn't just hop on and ride off into the sunset, did you? No, you fell, got back up, and tried again, and again, and again. You persisted until you finally got it right. That's the kind of tenacity you need to apply to every aspect of your life, whether it's your career, relationships, or personal growth. But remember, persistence isn't about stubbornly clinging to a path that's not working. It's about being adaptable, learning from your mistakes, and adjusting your approach as needed. It's about keeping your eyes on the prize and not letting setbacks deter you from your end goal. So how do you cultivate determination? Begin by establishing clear, attainable goals. Break it down into smaller steps and applaud each accomplishment. 
This helps you gain momentum and stay motivated to keep going. Surrounding oneself with positive influences who will motivate you to persevere. Most essential, believe in yourself. Keep in mind that every setback is an opportunity for a comeback. It's your persistence that'll ultimately determine your success in the game of life. So keep at it, keep pushing, keep persevering. Because when you refuse to give up, you can't help but win. Chapter 21 The Value of Time Management Mastering the art of time management, you can access a treasure trove of productivity and peace, paving the way to triumph in life's game. Every tick of the clock is a golden opportunity, a chance to inch closer to your dreams. But how do you make the most of your time without feeling overwhelmed? The answer lies in the art of time management, an important skill for winning at life. It is about organizing and planning how you will divide your time between different tasks. Time management that is effective allows you to work smarter, not harder, so you can do more in less time, even when time is limited and pressure is high. Think of time as a precious resource, a river that's constantly flowing. You can't stop it, but you can harness its power for your benefit. You can decide what you're going to do and when. This might sound simple, but it's incredibly powerful. It's the difference between being reactive and being proactive. It's the difference between letting life happen to you and taking control of your life. Chapter 22. Harnessing the Power of Habits In the pursuit of mastering life's game, you'll find that harnessing the power of habits is your secret weapon. Habits are the invisible building blocks of your daily life, laying the groundwork for your actions, attitudes, and, ultimately, success. They're the small decisions and actions you perform every day without much thought, but they hold tremendous power. Think of it this way. If each day is a battle, then your habits are your trusted allies. They're there, fighting for you, even when you're not aware of it. You might notice their impact immediately, but over time their influence is undeniable. So how can you harness this power? Start by identifying your existing habits. Are they serving you or hindering you? If it's the latter, it's time to make a change. Replace negative habits with positive ones that align with your goals. For instance, if you want to lead a healthier life, swap junk food with nutritious meals, substitute sedentary hours with exercise. Creating new habits isn't easy, and it won't happen overnight. It requires consistency and patience. But remember, each small step you take is a victory in itself. The power of habits lies in their repetition. The more you practice, the stronger they become. Chapter 23 Continuous Learning and Improvement Every day presents a fresh opportunity for you to learn something new and improve yourself. It's your chance to be a better version of yourself than you were yesterday. You might be thinking, but I'm not in school anymore, or I've got a full-time job. Where do I find the time well? The reality is that learning doesn't stop when you leave the classroom, and time is something you'll need to master. Consider this you're in the game of life, and the only way to succeed is to continuously educate yourself and aim for improvement. It's not about being perfect. It's about growth, progress, and taking small steps towards your goals each and every day. Don't know where to start. Start with what interests you. If you're into technology, read up on the latest trends and developments. If you're a food lover, learn a new recipe. If fitness is your thing, learn a new workout routine. It doesn't matter what it's as long as you're learning and enhancing. And remember, you're not alone. Reach out to mentors, join communities of learners, engage in discussions you'd be surprised how much you can learn from others. Lastly, don't be too hard on yourself. The road to self-improvement isn't always smooth. There will be setbacks, failures, and moments of doubt. But remember, these are just stepping stones on your path to victory. So hang in there, keep learning, keep improving. Because in the game of life, the true winner is the one who never stops learning. Chapter 24 
The Role of Creativity and Innovation Activating your creativity and nurturing innovation can truly set you apart in the game of life. Picture it as your secret weapon. Creativity isn't about painting a masterpiece or penning a novel, it's about looking at things from a different perspective. It's about questioning the status quo and not shying away from challenges or problems, but rather seeing them as opportunities to innovate. Now, you might be thinking, but I'm not creative, that's where you're wrong. Everyone has the capacity for creativity, it's just a matter of unleashing it. And innovation, it's simply the application of your creativity to solve problems or create value. So how do you do this? Start by challenging your routine. Break away from old patterns. Engage with different people, read widely, travel, and expose yourself to new experiences. Remember, creativity thrives on feeding the mind with various forms of stimulus. Innovation, on the other hand, requires action. It's about making your creative ideas tangible. So don't just dream do. Create prototypes, run tests, make adjustments. Don't be afraid of failure, but see it as a stepping stone towards your innovative solution. Your creativity and ability to innovate are your unique contributions to the world. They're your tools for winning the game of life. Use them wisely, boldly, and with confidence. Because in this game, the most innovative player isn't just the one who survives, they're the one who thrives. Chapter 25 The Journey to Self-Realization Let's commence on the journey to self-realization, the ultimate level in the game of life. You'll learn to understand the essence of your being, navigate the path of self-discovery, and wholeheartedly embrace your inner growth. Understanding Self-Realization Diving into the sea of self-realization, you'll discover it's a transformative journey, not a destination, that empowers you to become the true master of your own life. It's about understanding your essence, your core values, strengths, and limitations. You'll start to recognize that your actions, thoughts, and emotions are within your control. You'll find that as you embrace your authentic self, you'll resonate in energy that attracts positive relationships and opportunities. You'll also begin to understand your purpose in life, which will ignite your passion, drive, and determination to succeed. A path to self-discovery. Often, the path to self-discovery begins with a simple, yet profound question, who am I really? This query isn't merely philosophical, it's practical. You're not just a name, a job title, a role, or an emotion. You're a complex, evolving being with unique abilities, dreams, and experiences. Start your journey by acknowledging this complexity. Take a step back, look inward, and reflect. Ask yourself what makes you you. Is it your values, your passions, your past, or your aspirations? Write it down. Don't rush this process. It's okay to not have all the answers immediately. Embracing inner growth. As you peel back the layers of your self-discovery, it's time to embrace inner growth and commence on the enriching journey towards self-realization. This journey isn't easy, it demands courage, humility, and relentless curiosity. But you've got this. Start by acknowledging your strengths and weaknesses. They make you uniquely you. Accept your imperfections, they're stepping stones, not stumbling blocks. Nurture your passions and values, they're your compass. Practice self-compassion when you falter. You're human, and it's part of the growth process. Embrace change, it's the only constant in life. Seek wisdom and experiences. They're your best teachers. Remember, the journey to self-realization isn't a race, but a lifelong commitment to personal growth. You're becoming the best version of yourself, and that's winning at the game of life. Did you know that 92% of people don't achieve their goals? But that's not your destiny. By understanding the game of life, harnessing the power of habits, and continually learning, you're setting yourself up for success. Remember, it's all about the journey to self-realization. So, embrace the game, keep your mindset positive, and stay persistent. Success, happiness, and meaningful relationships are within your reach. Go out there and win the game of life.
Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.